The Education Quality Improvement Equip Project is taking on a proactive, preventative, and rehabilitative posture that promotes the empowerment of at-risk children, youth in general, and their families. The project seeks to foster a learning environment that addresses the needs of the students while at the same time ensuring the physical spaces in which they learn are safe and that education leaders are well equipped to deliver a quality of teaching in a manner that reaches all children of this modern age. On the other hand, the Youth Empowerment Project, YEP, through an integrated approach, works towards alleviating tension risk factors that can nurture antisocial behaviors at the individual, family, community, and societal levels. Portfolio manager of the CDB, Dr. Ida Medeni, says the two projects are important interventions and are critical to enhancing St. Lucia's human and social capital that are vital to supporting the achievement of the country's sustainable development agenda. These projects are also consistent with the eighth cycle of CDB's Special Development Fund. They are also aligned to CDB's strategic objective of supporting inclusive and sustainable growth and development. Our corporate priority of improving the quality of and access to education, training, and citizen security, and our cross-cutting theme of gender equality. Under the EQUIP project, five pilot schools will benefit initially including the Gordon and Walcott Memorial Methodist School, Fitbutai Primary, La Guerre Combine, and the Sir Arthur Lewis Community College. Minister for Education, Innovation, Gender Relations, and Sustainable Development, Honorable Dr. Gail Rigobert, says the EQUIP project speaks to the commitment by the education sector to ensure that no child or school is left behind, including special needs institutions. For quite some time, these four project schools appeared to have been given the rough end of the stick, so to speak. But the Education Quality Improvement Project, however, provides the assurance that the Department of Education remains attentive and committed to addressing the needs of all our learning institutions. Under this initiative, Instructional effectiveness will be actively pursued via the provision of short-term and degree-level continuing professional development training programs for teachers at all levels of this island's education system. Meantime, Minister with Responsibility for Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, Honorable Leonard Montoud, says within YEP, special emphasis is being placed on young men and vulnerable groups, particularly children, at-risk youth and women. The challenges that afflict our youth are not of their making, but they have an opportunity through initiatives like these to ensure that they are not destroyed or marginalized by such circumstances. We must, therefore, ensure that these projects succeed. Our collective role is to partner with them to provide support where required. The Department of Education, Innovation and Gender Relations is partnering with the Department of Equity, Social Justice and Empowerment, mainly on the school suspension program of YEP. The launch of the EQUIP and YEP projects preceded launch workshops being used to familiarize key stakeholders of the implementation process of both projects as well as CDB's policies and procedures. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Education, Innovation, Gender Relations and Sustainable Development, I am Chris Satney reporting.